Six o'clock, time to start getting packed up. Make our way to the border. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long day. Are you brushing teeth, Adam? Hmm? Hmm? Brush, 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 brush. It's like a grippy thingy. What did that do? No, you. All right. All right. So we just went past the U.S. Customs, and we are now in the Yukon. We made the transition from miles per hour to kilometers, and probably about 15 miles until we get to the Canadian Customs border. Yeah. Almost there. Road's getting rougher, that's for sure. <laughs> this is catching my face like all of life. <laughs> I'm a worry for you know this. Alright, well that went fairly well. Turned all of our stuff to the Indian border and now we are in Canada. Thankfully, there's a rest stop right here, so we'll walk the dog around a little bit, and then it's just back on the road for however long. On the road, on the road again. Where's the rest stop? So we've gone just about 230 miles, and we're just outside of Destruction Bay. And the distance is starting to get to the girls a little bit. A whole lot of uh, cramped butts and uncomfortable legs. But just top off the gas again and sticking with our trend. We're trying to stop at every gas station we run across because we <laughs> do not want to run out of fuel out here. Or at the very least have to drag our emergency can off the top of the car and use it. So far it's been working out pretty nicely. The roads are sketchy. Very, very sketchy. Uh, thankfully, uh, whoever the road crew is out here does a very good job of marking the really hazardous locations. Like, we've only... We've only uh, hit the ceiling a couple of times so far. The weather conditions are really nice right now. Warm. No wind. No snow. We're going to enjoy it while we can. stopped over in Haines Junction. This was the first and only place that we stayed 
oh excuse me i got hiccups stayed in the last time we came through canada four years ago the only place we stayed in canada just down the road at a little hotel right down there is where i had one of the absolute best alcoholic ciders i've ever had it was a okanagan peach cider and i have not been able to find it since girls are stretching their legs playing a felly <laughs> kicking the ice ice run ellie doesn't uh doesn't take much to keep her happy as long as she can chase a ball what's the matter autumn And Christina's over fixing up some sandwiches and yeah, and we'll be heading that way and Yeah, we'll see if we can get through White Horse and then to our hotel on the other side We don't have much of an intention of staying in White Horse for the night just because we've heard some pretty unpleasant rumors about the place and some of the some people breaking into cars and targeting people tra traveling through so we're gonna try and avoid that if we can Puppy dog. Yep, there's a dog over there. So the car is holding together pretty well after 100 and 130 some odd miles. Probably close to 160 some odd miles in the can Canada. We did get a slight little warp in a body panel. Probably when uh, we went over one of the frost eaves and whacked our chiller hitch on the opposite edge. She's still holding together okay though. Mm. This is already like fine, so I need to put it. You know. Look at that metal bridge. Gas station's right there too. Okay. Ah, there that, it is. That looks First bad. Bridge in the we have made it to the Yukon Motel. It's a moose. It is a moose. And this is where we will be staying. So we just gotta find out where we go and sign. Yep, we made it. Okay, we finished day two of driving. Yay! Yay! Your dad is more excited than the girls are. No, that is the most genuine yay I've ever heard from them. <laughs> Alright, cars will park for the night. Settling down. Room's not too shabby. The girls are finally winding down a little bit. A little bit of food in their tummies. A little bit happier. Trying to get the COVID-19 do-it-yourself kits taken care of. That is an absolute nightmare. If you find yourself crossing the border and this this mess is still going on of COVID, uh, I hope you've managed to get tested at the border because these kits are just a nightmare. You know, especially if you're coming from the US, uh, that and this phone isn't connected to anything, so you can't call the number. <clears throat> uh, and their hours are only from like 2 a.m. till 5 o'clock. Uh, we missed that window by about two hours. Uh, yeah, they got a pretty complete kit here. Instruction manual. Uh, instructions aren't any good if you can't follow the instructions. I guess we'll be waking up first thing. It's supposed to, that's supposed to be the first day kit. And then we also issued a second one, which was the 10 day kit. But we won't be using it since we're only going to be in state for just a couple, or well, in country for a couple days. Yeah, so we'll try and get those knocked out in the morning. Here's hoping. Then we can get back on the road and keep driving. Bye. We did see some caribou today, though. So that was something. Autumn. 
Definitely. Child. Dad, do the rescue. Right here. Bring our travel day to a close, and we'll kick off first thing in the morning. And I.